coffee, some rye whiskey. Let's do this thing. What's up guys? It is actually after midnight, so it's a late one. Anyway, welcome back to another EDC Weekly. I just want to say you guys are crushing it. It is the 19th and there are over 100 submissions and man, you guys are really making this hard for me. So much so that I think I might even ramp up and do this more than once a week. And I'm definitely going to be doing a bag edition once per month. So I've got to figure out what my schedule is going to be doing these. But you can definitely count on doing these weekly and then some additional content. Like I, like the flashlight video I did last week, the Rovivan Aurora. There will be more of that, but there's going to be more of this style video too. So if you want more of that hit the like button. Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe, because there are a lot of people watching this channel, and not all of you are subscribed, so do that now. Anyway, the theme for this week is key bars. Not just key organizers, but the famed key bar. So let's do it. So first up this week, we have a submission from a true OG, John Smith. He was around for the first launch of the EDC Weekly, and he's been around pretty much ever since. And I was wondering when he would submit again. I almost reached out to him today and said, hey John, are you ever gonna submit for the new EDC Weekly? And lo and behold, as I'm going through choosing some this week, I saw John's submission and I had to pick it for this week. So thank you John for submitting, thanks for sticking around, and thanks for making some really awesome gear. If you guys don't know John Smith, he is 875SPF on Instagram and he makes his own gear. And he also made me this right here, just this little copper tag with Modern Outdoor Dweller on it. And I've been carrying it pretty much ever since I got it, other than that one time I lost it. Anyway, he's an awesome dude, he makes awesome gear, and this is what he carries. First up here in the top left of the corner, we have a Camo Hank by Yuzin Hanks. And on top of that, he has a titanium key bar. On his key bar, he also has attached titanium and copper stacker beads by Combat Beads. And that's something I should have prefaced. John carries a ton of handmade gear from other people in the EDC community, and he reps them, and that's why he's just a standout guy. But back to it. The first knife you see here to the left is the Grayman Dua. And on that, he has anodized bronze and sandblasted scales by EDC Alabama on Instagram. The Victorinox you see here is a Pioneer X, but he actually got this before the Pioneer X was a thing and he made the custom scales for it. The leather lanyard you see attached to the Victorinox is by Dean underscore EDC over on Instagram. And then there's also a dangler on there. That's the Micarta Dangler by Black Crow Carry. You can barely see it, but it's there. The notebook he uses is the Log and Jotter Notebook, July 2018 edition. The coin he carries is made by his friend Mark at From Dust Goods. And then on his Jeep keys, you see a brass bead and leather key fob. Those are from Combat Beads. He has some of his own tools there in brass, the Jeep tool, and there's actually a target tool underneath that. And his leather EDC wallet with brass rivets is by Coyote Workshop. Inside that, he also carries a Victorinox Cadet, and a 300 blackout pin from Hollow Point Designs. Finally, he has an iPhone 7 with a Mac pool case. So yeah, looks very simple, looks succinct, but there's a lot of little hidden gems in there. And he's got a lot to say. Here's what John says. First, it's good to see you back doing EDC videos. I've missed watching them every week. I've missed making them. I'm happy to be back and I'm glad you're back. A bag dump video sounds like a good idea and I would definitely be down to sharing mine. I'm doing it, but it's gonna be an undertaking and I've gotta get a few things settled before. So don't submit your bags just yet. I gotta figure out a better solution for doing the current submissions and then we'll get to bags. He also says, I use the Hank to clean my glasses, wipe off my laptop screen and wipe gross food off my knives. And the key bar is for my keys. I just picked up the Grayman Dua, so I've been carrying it a lot. I love seeing the wear on the DLC blade, so I probably use the knife for way more than I need to. I use my Swiss Army knife for pretty much everything. This one is basically a Pioneer X, but I built it back before the X existed, so I've had it for a very long time. I use the Log and Jotter notebook for keeping up with my notes, ideas, shopping lists, and my prayer list. Since it's a monthly subscription and I get a new notebook every month, I also use it as a daily journal of sorts. I have three kids and I don't know, but maybe they'll be interested in reading about their childhood when they get older. The coin was made by a buddy of mine and has one of my favorite Bible verses on it, Psalms 91.2. Keys are pretty obvious, but when Combat Beads was first starting his Instagram feed, he sent me that leather fob and one of his very first brass beads. I carry it every day as a reminder to always be kind and generous to others. My leather wallet rides very comfortably in my front pocket and holds a backup Victorinox cadet and a little brass pin. I love always having a second Swiss Army knife in case I leave mine at home and I never have to remember to bring a pin for my notebook. 
I've always had a Magpul case on my phones. So they're extremely minimal and lightweight and very tactile, so it won't slip out of your hand when using it. And so far, all my phones have survived some pretty nasty falls. And that's something I haven't seen a ton of Magpul cases since I restarted this EDC Weekly. In fact, I haven't seen many gun submissions, but I've been getting a lot of comments saying, this isn't EDC, there are no guns or no tactical gear or this or that. No, EDC is what you want it to be. EDC is what you carry, regardless of who you are, what your interests are, EDC might have little sub-genres of the whole community, but the community as a whole is just people who like to share the gear that they carry in their pockets. So just setting the record straight. Anyway, thank you, John, for submitting. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. And again, thank you for submitting and coming back. The next submission comes from Eta Richard. And man, this is just, this is a really nice picture. Anyway, this pocket dump includes a Nike Apple Watch 42 millimeter, and he also has an iPhone 8 Plus in a black silicone case. He uses Apple AirPods for his earbuds, and his knife of choice is the Microtech UTX85 Tactical. His wallet is a Louis Vuitton red card holder, and he carries a Field Notes black grid notebook. His pin of choice is the Zebra F701 pin, and he uses a space pin refill. He carries a Gerber Dime multi-tool for a small set of pliers, and he has a Streamlight Nano for his flashlight. For his lips, he uses Burt's Bees lip balm, and then he has a Keybar Titanium Bomber with his keys to his Tesla Model S P100D. I hate you, and pretty much everybody else watching this video does too, so just remember that. We all hate you because you have a really nice car. But we love you, but we hate you. And all he has to say is, I'm unemployed, but I carry everything pictured daily. I don't even know what to say to this. You're unemployed, have a P100D, and you have a really nice EDC. So it's hard to feel sorry for you, but I don't know. I got nothing else. Thank you for submitting. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway, and we still hate you, but not really. And for all of you people out there who have complained about no guns in the EDC Weekly, here you go. The third and final submission this week comes from Jason Huang, which I probably slaughtered, but you can find him on Instagram at BSA0047. First up here, an oldie but goodie, something we haven't seen in a while, is a Ridge Wallet. This is Burnt in Titanium. The fountain pen of choice here is the Twisby Eco Black, but he also carries a Boker Plus tactical pin KID 50 cal. His knife of choice is the Ontario Rat Model 1A Spring Assisted with Black G10 scales. His phone here is an iPhone 7 with an OtterBox Defender case, and his Key organizer of choice, of course, this week is the key bar in black aluminum, and he has it on a TI EDC titanium keychain, and he also has a skull pocket tool. His daily carry pistol here is the Ruger LCP2 with six hour V Crown JHP. I'm guessing that's a hollow point. I'm not very up to date on my gun knowledge, so shoot me. Um, don't shoot me, just move on. And his watch of choice here is a G Shock Master GW9400 one. I swear the gun pun was not intentional. Don't shoot me. Don't hate me. Maybe you can hate me, but sorry, not sorry. So he says he uses the Ridge Burnt Titanium Wallet for whenever he pays, but also just to fidget with because he says it's the only non-lethal looking thing he can fidget with without freaking people out. The Twisby Eco Black Fountain Pen, this is the only useless thing that I carry. It's solely for passion for writing with a fountain pen. This pen makes me want to write more often. The other pin, the tactical one from Boker, he says is a bolt action pin. It's also fun to fidget with. It's tactical, but he wouldn't use it for any tactical usage. Does anybody use a tactical pin for any tactical usage? No, they don't. It's tactical. Ontario Rat is the big slicer of the collection. I'm just an urban suburban guy. Even though this knife looks deadly, I'd use it to cut boxes, fruit, food prep, or everyday tasks. But would be great in a backup self-defense situation if the gun failed. The iPhone 7, the OtterBox Defender case, I put this phone through hell. The case is amazing and I don't mind the bulkiness of it. It actually helps me get a better grip of the phone. I don't know how people use slim cases. My hands would cramp up big time. He says the titanium skull does all the prying work that he wouldn't want to do with his knife. And the Ruger, he says, I hope I never get to use it, but it's purely for self-defense. The G-Shock, he says, I'm a fan of always having a watch on me. I don't like to check through the phone, especially if I'm at a professional setting. This watch can do all sorts of wonders. I even use it to time cooking, workout, barometer, and other everyday functions. But yeah, I don't carry, I don't have a gun, I probably should. I've been talking about it for a very long time and here I am. Anyway, thank you Jay Song for sharing. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway and of course continue submitting your EDCs. Go to edcw.co, submit there and you can go to edc.show to check out a bunch of EDC deals, news, 
content, roundups, whatever, all of that over on the main website. And of course, follow us if you haven't already. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at bestdamnedc. Subscribe here on the channel if you'd like more videos like this in the future. And of course, hit that notification button so you're notified when I make new videos and upload them. If you'd like to see more like this, be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to move up to that four to six videos per month for the ADC Weekly. That would include the bag dumps and other stuff, but that would not include the flashlights and, and features of, of gear. That's separate. That's totally separate. And probably will never be on a schedule, but this stuff would be scheduled. So let me know if you want more scheduled EDC Weekly style videos. I think that's everything. If you want to find me on Twitter and Instagram, I'm Casper Tech there. And of course you can find my second channel. It's Modern Outdoor Dweller. It's linked everywhere. Um, but yeah, that's where I do all my outdoor camping out side stuff, travel, adventure, RV, renovation stuff, all that. With all that said, until next time, carry on. Really got to find a better sign off and a better logo and a better website.